Ugh. I hope you can swim. Oh, geez, he can't swim. Sequence three, a single madman, and we... Oh, God. It's like my ship is moving on its own. I'm beginning to wonder if maybe there's a water spout nearby? Wow, I wish I could uh, avoid dangerous storms in real life the way that Gentlemen, I just did. As is custom among our kind, we do not plunge headlong into folly on the orders of a single madman, but act according to our own collective madness. <laughs> the object of our attention is a square rigged galleon, and we want her for the advantage she'll bring Nassau. The Arca del Maestro. Level 60? So I'll put it to the vote. A democracy? All those in favor of storming this cove and taking this ship. Stomp and shout I! Aye. Those who oppose, whimper nay. Never was the King's Council so unified. I am not feeling so unified right now. Secretly. He wanted to whimper, nay, but no, Edward just had to use the word whimper and uh, discourage this gentleman from truly speaking from his heart. Next objective is to reach the jungle's exit, so why don't we go ahead and get started with that? Are you guys sailing off without me? Where are you going? Can you at least get me an Uber? There is our first animus fragment of the level. I hope this bridge won't... Um, break any more than it already has once I land on it. Oh, come on. I was just kidding. <sighs> oh, brother. Now let's loot this chest. And then to the top of this makeshift, I don't know, fence, ladder, lens, I will assassinate him from behind while he's trying to uh, get his steps in for the day. He's probably monitoring his Fitbit in the process. Or his Apple Watch. Whichever one he can currently afford. I'm surprised he didn't see me when he made that turn. Oh, I hear a gunshot. If you're so curious, why don't you have a look? Oh, I, I didn't get to read that entire conversation, but all I know is those two soldiers straight ahead were probably the ones talking. I do find it a bit unusual, um that that one soldier is circling that tree over and over again. Um, he seems to have no clear destination. So I'm beginning to wonder if maybe he has a bit of social anxiety and maybe he's just kind of trying to maintain his distance from his partner so that he doesn't have to, so that he doesn't feel pressured to engage in casual banter with him. In any case, I should take advantage of this situation. Let's take care of the nearby soldier first. And then let's quickly hide, wait for the other guy to return. Oh, he's pulling out his sword. Oh, so now you want to engage in casual banter with your partner. Well, do you feel bad now? You'll never have the opportunity to speak with him ever again. If I get on this tree, can I assassinate anybody? Preferably without getting caught. Oh, shoot. Oh, no. Speaking of getting caught. Hold on. Hold on. Oh, no. You mean, oh, geez. This is all one big wall of vegetation, so I could not circle around him. So I'm going to have to handle this the old-fashioned way. Damn death throws. Okay, let's head in the direction of the chest first. Though it looks like it's being guarded by someone. I wonder if that chest belongs to him. Is he keeping all of his possessions in it because he doesn't have enough pockets? It literally looks like, according to my map, that he's guarding that chest. Now I'm beginning to wonder if he's using that chest as his personal bank account. I don't consider that to be a wise idea, personally. Now, what was that soldier holding in this chest? Money and bullets. Maybe he should have at least kept the bullets in his pocket. So that he would have been able to pull out his gun upon my arrival. If anyone asks, I'm just gonna let them know that you are, um, 
struggling from the high humidity we're having. And so you're just kind of lounging in the shade, uh, trying to recuperate before uh, returning to your guard duty. Oh, is that a shanty up ahead? Oh, come on, Edward. This should be an easy one to grab. Oh, which way am I going? Which way am I going? There we go, I got it. I, I hate those sticky hands moments where Edward just compulsively grabs at something and tries to climb it when maybe I don't want him to. He actually looks like he's searching for something. He looks as if he dropped his wallet on the ground. Your wallet was in your pocket this whole time. In fact, I just grabbed it. He's probably tracking his Fitbit, focusing on his Fitbit as it keeps track of all the steps he's been taking for the day. You got it handed to these soldiers for, you know, putting in the effort to stay in tip-top shape. Animus fragment number two has been found. I wonder if this porcelain teapot has been used. If not, then it'd make a nice addition to my kitchen. All right, we're here. Oh, just kidding, we're not here because now there's a second destination that we need to go to. Oh, hold on, another Animus fragment. And one of the soldiers appears to be drunk? Look at him staggering. Oh, and yes, I do see him holding a beer bottle or ale, whatever kind of alcohol they had back in those days. Unbelievable. Drinking on the job, during guard duty of all things. What's the matter with you, guy? And clearly your colleagues feel the exact same way as I do. I can feel the disappointment deep in their souls because all of them are trying to avoid you. None of them are putting in the effort to even talk to you. But then again, I try to see things from everyone's points of view. Who knows, maybe the the drunk guy is having problems back home, having disagreements with his wife, the children don't want to play with him. If I assassinate the gentleman who's right in front of me, will his drunk colleague notice? Hmm, maybe we should find out. Let's wait for this guy to go away. He can uh, check the progress of, you know, the cooking situation over there. Oh, actually that was a very quick Progress update. Oh, but maybe that progress update was too quick. So now he's going to go back to the cook to get the, get the progress update again. Because he didn't quite catch it the first time. Oh no, the drunk guy noticed! But now the drunk guy is dead. Oh no, there's two more. Wait, is, is one of you the cook? How's the progress on the cooking going? Oh gosh, I'm actually gonna die. I'm actually gonna die. Am I gonna die? No, I am gonna counter and I am gonna make the kill. So I did not die. So that was probably the cook who was probably angry at the fact that he cooked for his entire team only for me to murder his entire team, which means he put in all this work for nothing. Although, if he had, you know, took the time to really think about it, he could have had all of this food all to himself. He could have split it into multiple meals. It could have lasted him days. So what was there to be upset about? Oh, I see a rifleman up on the tree over there. Oh, I'm whistling and no one's paying attention to me. This is making me sad. Can I get away with circling this tree without these two guys noticing? Let me give it a try. There appears to be quite a sufficient gap between these two. Okay, let's see. Let's see if there's a ladder attached to this tree. Oh, those two guys are gonna see me, the ones in the distance. Oh, seriously, they don't see me? Nope, they see me. I heard the notification. He's just, he's just sleeping. Just, just leave him there. He'll, he'll wake up when he's ready. There is no ladder that leads up to that tree, which makes me wonder, how is this guy ever going to get down during his lunch break? He probably was looking forward to, you know, making that trip to Panera, picking up that delicious tuna sandwich. Do you think that maybe they took the ladder down just 
you know, just to be jerks. If that's the case, allow me to get revenge on your behalf, Mr. Rifleman. And then those two soldiers in the distance, clearly they're well aware that there is no longer a ladder attached to this tree. But did they do anything about that? No. No, they didn't. Maybe I can do an air assassination? Hopefully the riflemen will support me on this. Oh, what the- Wow. Okay, so not a very- <laughs> Not a very smooth kill, but a kill nonetheless. And also, I think the rifleman just shot me. So I guess he's not... I guess I, um, we're not friends. Even though I, I took care of his bullies for him, we are still not friends. That actually makes me a bit sad. Sorry, guy. You're still alive? I must have missed his vitals the first time. Oh, and there he goes. Well... For what it's worth, um, at least I got you down. Let's go after the local animus fragment. Actually, are we entering a town? Oh, and is that the Spanish galleon in the far distance there? New objective, locate Julian Ducasse. And I also see an optional objective that said to air assassinate Julian Ducasse. So what are we doing, game? Are we looking for him or are we just straight up gonna kill him because because those are two different things and I, I like to follow my instructions to the letter follow my voice there we go good job finding me buddy too bad that i'm the last thing you'll ever see this gentleman appears to be guarding the crops you're gonna have to find someone else to do it now, though. Oh, this is all going horribly wrong. I- I'm just gonna go. What's the matter? Afraid your clothes are gonna get wet? Can I, um... Oh, God. I wanted to assassinate him, but... Ugh. I hope you can swim. Oh, jeez, he can't swim. It looks like the coast is clear. Nobody is actively looking for me now, so... Let's go ahead and board this ship. Oh, new objective. Kill Julian Ducasse. I don't understand. Why didn't it just say kill Julian Ducasse in the first place? Does someone see me? No, no. Don't speed along. In fact, take your time. Can I toss you overboard? Oh, come on. Assa oh, that assassinate prompt was so jittery. If you love the ocean so much, why don't you just swim in it? Oh god, he drowned too. Is there no one here who can swim? So Julian Ducasse is here. I see a red icon on that ship. What I want to do now, though, is take care of the other soldiers that are on this ship. So that I can air assassinate Julian Ducasse in peace. Which I realize is asking for a lot. Oh. Oh, jeez. Oh, somebody just dived overboard, and honestly, that was a really smart move. I, I probably would have done the same if I was him. And, you know, I'm constantly forgetting to- Oh, I just got shot. So many things are happening at once that I can't- I'm about to die. I'm about to die because I was reckless. And even if I try to air assassinate anyone, I'm probably gonna get shot. Alright. I knew I was gonna die there. I have a lot of, um, pent-up aggression that needs releasing. Oh, is it just you? Oh, hey, what are you doing? Trying to practice being a defensive lineman? The NFL does not exist in this time period. Somebody's coming my way. Three of them, in fact. Or maybe two. The other one changed his mind. Oh, and now he has second thoughts. He decided to come after all because, you know, peer pressure. He saw his two other colleagues coming in this direction, so he felt that he was obligated to do the same. Though perhaps he shouldn't have, because now he's dead. Did you just punch me in the face? Why didn't you just pull out your sword like a normal soldier? If anyone asks, I'm just gonna let them know that you're sunbathing, okay? And in case they worry about that red stuff that's right underneath your head, um, you know, you were refreshing yourself with a nice glass of Kool-Aid, and, you know, 
you may it may have slipped from your hands as you were enjoying it. It happens. Did one of them promise to treat the other to Panera today for lunch, only to forget his wallet and force his colleague to pay for the both of them instead? As long as you pay the guy back at some point, I don't see why this should be such a huge deal. But I'll do you a favor. He's dead now, so now you'll never have to pay him back ever. Look at that. He's doing bridges. Very good for the core, I hear. Oh, sorry, I forgot that there was a stealth swim button. Uh, it, it's just a tuna. It's just a tuna in the water. Yes, yes, the tuna is big. Do you even know how big tuna can get? Here comes the killer tuna. Oh, oh my god, the assassination did not even work. Did the prompt even pop up? Everything happened so fast, I didn't pay attention to those minute details when I should have. All right, for the second time, let's board the Spanish Galleon. Let's take out this guy first, since he's such an easy target. Oh, geez. No, 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 no. There appears to be a miniature earthquake going on in the ship. Oh man, now they can all see me. Oh god, that's a gun! No! Come on, take out this guy quickly. I'm gonna follow him, bye! I wish I could shoot from the water. That'd be nice. Reduce distance to target? I am literally circling the ship that he's on. Why can't I just toss them off the ship? From, you know, by hanging off the edge? Wow, what I just said made absolutely zero sense. All I was trying to say is why, when I hang off the ship, why doesn't the assassination prompt just pop up so I can just yank them overboard? Oh, shoot. Well, actually, it looks like I took care of all the soldiers. So now it's time to take care of Julian Ducasse himself. Oh, my air assassination attempts did not, did not work. Whatever the gift you gave me, well, it answers just fine. Mr. Petra! As bold as a musket ball, and still half as sharp. Oh! Thanks. I'm sorry about this, mate. But I can't risk you telling your Templar friends about me still kicking around. I pity you, Bukeni. After all you have seen, after all we showed you of our order, still you embrace the life of an ignorant and aimless rogue. Whoa, whoa, whoa! Watch out, guy! Your machete almost killed me there. I wouldn't say aimless. Ah. We did recently loot a plantation. Any the extent of your ambition? Have you no mind to comprehend the scope of ours? All the empires on earth abolished, a free and open world without parasites like you. Que l'enfer que tu trouveras soit le fruit de ton insouciance. I might find heaven instead if I'm lucky. The cove is ours. And we're back from the Matrix! Yay! Oh. Okay, mission complete. Memory 7, a single madman. Um, the air assassination of Ducasse didn't quite work out as well as we had hoped because he was honed in the art of self-defense. Aerial self-defense, to be exact. So that's the end of sequence three. In the next video, we will begin sequence four of Assassin's Creed Black Flag. Until then, live long and prosper. Hey everybody, I'm Decobra, and I hope this video helps make your day. Thank you so much for watching, and maybe I'll see you again soon.